Hey everybody, it's Mama J, and I am here with another, yes, another Snap Doc Octopus. By the time I finish going through all of these, some of you will have some massive octopus knowledge. And you never know, you know me and my trivia with giveaways, just saying, just saying. All right, so we got another one here. As you know, I had grabbed a few on clearance in hopes to find the purple one because we only needed purple and green. We scored the purple one right away. So that was the harder one to get. So now we're trying to get the green one, which is a common. So let's see what happens with this one, okay? And then while we open it up, this is for you. In many ways, the octopus is as close to alien life as we may ever see. Few creatures in the world are as remarkable and bizarre. A part of a class of animals called cephalopods, they are among the most intelligent and most mobile of all the invertebrates. They live in every ocean in the world, in the deep sea, in kelp forests, in coral reefs, along rocky shorelines. And they are as diverse as the habitats they live in. They can be massive or absolutely tiny. Some species are venomous and some are just downright strange. In any given moment, they can appear spiky or they can appear smooth. They are so different from us that most of their 500 million neurons are not in their brain, but in their arms, which can smell and taste and even think. And so intelligent that their cognitive ability matches that of many large brained vertebrates. All right. All right, so we only need the green. Will we be lucky? What color do you think it is? Ready? <gasps> Boom! <gasps> what? We scored a second purple one. He's beautiful though. He's really beautiful. Wow. So, we didn't get the green one, but we scored a second purple one, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, I don't even know, you know, I know I still got quite a few of these to open, because like I said, I was trying to score this one. I didn't realize it was going to be so easy at the end. All right. And as you know, I don't take them out of the plastic. Even the ones I keep makes them easier to dust because that's my one thing that I don't like about the small figures and the minis is having to dust that shit. All right. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.